Hey guys, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Gear Corner. Today, I want to find out if purists are right or not. What's up with guitar straight into amp? Will they give you a better tone? Check out the description box right under the video if you're interested in my signal chain, the rig I'm using, uh, timestamps, all that kind of fun stuff. Also, if you enjoy my videos, please hit subscribe and ring the bell. Thank you. I have three important points to mention, and I hope these will help us to understand what's what. Will a guitar plug straight into an amp sound best? Well, point number one, it really depends on the style. Let's say a heavy player with his guitar plugged into a really cool high gain amp is gonna be super happy for a good reason. Same thing for all players who prefer this vintagey, old school kind of tone. I'm talking about Joe Badamasa and all these kind of players who can make a cranked old amp or boutique amp sound fantastic. But imagine Stevie Ray Vaughan without his tube screamers or Jimi Hendrix without his fuzz, his wah and his univibe or Brian May without the range master or of course even Angus Young who's been using the Schaefer Vega wireless slash boost system since like the mid 70s and it changed his core Marshall sound to his sound, his signature sound. All these players would just not sound the same without these effects and pedals. So will a guitar plugged straight into an amp sound best? Point number two, it really depends on the quality of the rig. Low quality effects will of course degrade the tone quality. Same thing occurs if you are not using a switcher or a buffer or similar. And on the other hand, if you had an okay but pretty boring sounding amp, you would definitely benefit of using a few nice effects. And the third one is sort of a personal note. In many cases, it can be really hard to play good on vintage or boutique amps without using any effects. They can sound really dry unless they have a reverb or a tremolo or whatever. And uh, if you crank them, their overdriven sound, their cranked sound can sound pretty fizzy. <laughs> You have to be a good player, you have to get used to these kind of amps, 
and you have to know what you can play to make them sound good. What kind of styles and licks will sound good on an amp like this? What do I mean by amps like this? Which vintage or boutique amps I mean? I mean like matchless, high watts, old Marshalls, like Plexi style Marshalls, Vox and all of these old Fender amps. It can be really tricky to play these amps and make them sound really good. If you just play a few power chords, you will not like them at all. because they have um, a certain character and you have to play a certain way to make them sound good. And it's not easy at all. And I think that's mainly the reason why people who can play these amps or know how these work sometimes appear to be a little, you know, snob. <laughs> because they'll say like, oh, if you can't play these amps, you know nothing. You're not a good player. Which I think is arrogant and stupid and not true. But I understand that you probably have to step up your game if you want to make these amps sound really good. It's not easy. Okay, my personal message with this video is if you're someone who's absolutely happy with his guitar plugged straight into an amp, you're cool. You know, what should I what should I tell you? <laughs> awesome. Great. If you need pedals or want effects in your life because you cannot live without delay, that's me. Or uh, you just love phasers or you don't need that flavor of that overdrive pedal. Whatever the reason is, I think it's really important to keep a few things in mind. First of all, Make sure that the tone quality of that effect is good, that it doesn't degrade the tone quality of your rig. It has to sound as good when it's attached to your signal chain as when it's out of your signal chain, whether it's bypassed or turned on. If it sucks tone, it will not do you any good, right? <laughs> Second thing is, don't overdo things. Don't just use 10 effects because you have 10 effects. If you feel like a certain lick or song needs a vibe, search for the best effect for that vibe and maybe just try to keep it in sort of a balance. And if it needs 10 effects because that's the best sound, well, then use three delays and four modulation effects and a fuzz in front of it. You know, if that's the best sound for that lick, cool. But if it's not necessary, maybe try to keep your head calm. <laughs> a pedal switcher can be really useful if you just want one overdrive out of your 10 pedals to be in the signal chain. This means the other nine are out of the way. They will not suck at your tone. You're as purist as an effect user can be and you will save as much of the guitar's original sound and dynamic range as possible. I'd love to know what you guys think about this whole are purists right situation. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be there uh, reading your comments, answering your comments, whatever. We'll meet down there and we'll see each other in a week. I'll be back. Bye bye.